and salutations to one and all. My name is Ghostman number one, and we are going to start a new playthrough series on Kerbal's Kerbin Space Program, KSP for short. But let's get and started. We're going to get dive straight into this. Let's have a look. We're going to go straight into our contracts here. There's a maximum of two contracts. So uh, what we're going to do is I have played this a little bit, played through the tutorials and everything, but let's go through some of the items we've got here. So we want to gather some scientific data from Kerbin. That's correct. Launch our first vehicle. So I think those two are going to be the best because what I've seen is we don't have a lot unlocked at the moment. So we're going to start with those two, especially we ain't going to get out of the atmosphere and we're not going to orbit, especially with the rockets we have at the moment. So let's accept that one and accept that one. And that's all we can do from there. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to go over to the vehicle assembly building, which is where we're going to build our first rocket. So let's go on in. Alrighty, someone explaining how to build a rocket, but don't worry, we're pros of this. We are pros here. So what we're going to do, we obviously have to start off with our command module. Okay, I'm going to need a pilot, so if we go on the crew tab here, Jebediah is our pilot, which is fine. He's a famous uh, Kerbin. Uh, let's have a look. We need a rocket, so that's going to provide us with the thrust we need. And I feel let's not go fully out. Let's go 45. I feel if we don't put so much thrust in, because we're not going to be wet heavy, so I can't imagine. And here's my OCD clicking in here. Right, no, come on. 45. There we go. Number. No, oh, I'm not going to go into it. No. <laughs> We don't need a parachute, so we put a parachute on. Now, this is our staging, which is activated through the spacebar. We obviously don't want the parachute on the same staging as the rocket, because that will end in humility. Well, <laughs> something funny, I'm sure. And then we want to gather some science on this mission, so let's uh, put two of those either side. Now, it's obviously very important to try and get the balance of your rocket, otherwise you'll flip over, turn over, and all sorts. But that is basically that. Um, what should we call this? Let's call it uh, the Rocket Man, because it basically a rocket. Let's call it a rocket chair, because that's all it is. There's a chair in there. <laughs> oh, let's save. I am so funny. Not right. That's it. Let's go to launch. All right, here we are on the launch pads. I did have clouds installed, but it's just causing so many problems with recording, etc. So I've got rid of those. I really need to upgrade my computer more than anything. But here we are on our service interface, so let's just start doing some of the experiments. So we'll observe that. Apparently that gets us science. Well, apparently, there we go. It's not a very good trade-off if you transmit the science. I suppose at least then if you recover it, you can play around with it and all that lot of jalaki. So let's uh, do a crew report. There we go, he's done a crew report and he can EVA. So we can go outside, let's see, EVA, brilliant, he now can get back in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to launch, we're obviously 69 meters above sea level, uh, sorry about that, uh, every time we go over it, and then obviously this bit at the bottom, that light blue is the troposphere I would assume, the light, darker blue is the stratosphere, the mesosphere I believe is that darker blue even still, and then the black I believe is the thermosphere. And that last line, I'm assuming, is going to be the Kármán line. Now, we will explain as we go up what the Kármán line is and the thermosphere and the exosphere if we ever get out to that way. But uh, let us start. Uh, let's put on some stability control, which is over here. So that's now activated. Jeb, are you ready? He looks happy. All right, okay. So he's happy. We've done our science. So all that's left to do is say five, four, three, two, one, go. No, launch, sorry. Launch. There we go, we're going up. And uh, we're doing alright, we've got a good steady speed. Brilliant. Uh, you don't want to go too fast, so we've probably gone in a little too fast, because again, it's the saying, so as you can see, we're building up this pressure wave, which isn't great, because uh, it's not the most efficient. There we go, our chute is... There we go. Our rocket is fully spent. And we're still rising up. Let's have a look. I think 8,000 is the line to the stratosphere, so we will be going through the topo pools. There we go, we've gone through that, and observe the mystery goo. 
The goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. No, it should be quite stable right now because, uh, oh, now we're falling backwards. That's brilliant. So what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to deploy our parachute, which is safe to deploy because if you notice a while ago, that went red, so it wasn't really safe to deploy. Jebediah is quite happy there. He's uh, enjoying the view as we go down. And there is, we're going to come pretty close back down towards the launch pad. We've got to keep an eye on our speed here. I am probably going to deploy the parachute shortly. Let's uh, start thinking about deploying it right now, just to slow us down. So that should be the parachute deployed. It's just going to cause a little drag until we get to 1500. It's just to slow us down a little bit. And it's open fully. Ooh, sometimes if I open that too late. I have done this where I uh, was playing around and I opened it way too late. And obviously Jebediah uh, disappeared, shall we say? <laughs> but yeah, as we come down, brilliant. We haven't gone very far. As I said, we're just going straight up on this for first time. So there we are. We are now touched down. Let us recover our vessel. Good job, Jeb. There we are. At the end of each uh, mission, obviously, we get a mission summary. So the science we got. So we got 22.1 science from that. Uh, the parts, the list of things we bring back. Oh, I could have got rid of the mono propellant. I forgot about that and the experience crew gained. So that is all of that. Let's go and have a look what we can do in... Oh, look at that. See, we get a lot more contracts. Now, these... What I saw, they are a pain. Um, I will probably try and do one. Take a crew for... And probably, uh, now, you see, you've got to get into a certain area of the map, and often not these are, like, on the other side. So we have to... You have to plan those ones out quite hard. Well, well... So let's have a look at some of these other ones. Uh, let's see. Hull the Mark 16 parachute into flight above Kerbin. That is quite easy because that's between 3,000 and uh, 11,000. So we achieved that. And with those speeds as well. And we achieved that too. So let's have a look. Uh, test the RT uh, hammer. Now that's suborbital. So that means we leave the atmosphere and come straight back down. And Wow. As you can see, it's very interesting. You got to read the small print. So that is well and truly left the atmosphere. And to test that again, uh, no, we're not going to do that one. We're not going to escape the atmosphere at the moment. So I think it's going to be these two. This one's a nice, easy one. So that's a quick cash injection there. So let's do that. And that one there. Yep. So all we're going to do now is we'll go again and quickly build our rocket. And here we are. Brilliant. So uh, this is the rocket chair again. So we're going to do the rocket chair mark two. So what are we going to do to hit these contracts? So we could probably launch this straight off the bat, couldn't we? Let's see, because you're the mark 16 parachute. Uh, yeah, let's. Um... Although we could invest in some science to go and go a little higher. Let's invest in science, actually. Uh, save and continue. So in this building over here is our science. So let's have a look at some of these science. So this will give us bigger rockets and our first liquid motor. And it's only five science. We've got 30 science to play with. So let's go with that. And then actually this is important because then we can get some more science and that stack the coupler. So yeah, we'll have that as well. I don't know if we should go higher just yet. Let's have a look at some of these other options. That might be more handy, but we should get some science from this, so perhaps we can unlock both of those. Uh, but we'll keep what we got at the moment, because there's something new to play with. Oh, we lost the bottom part of the rocket. Never mind. Right, so we'll keep that part of the rocket. Let us add the science module, because that's important, because that's going to get us some science. I'm also going to swap out the pilot. Sorry, Jeb, you're going to go on the ground. Now, the reason why I'm going to go for a scientist... We're just going straight up, so it's not a big deal in that respect. However, he can reset these experiments, and we can run them multiple times, because when we're up in the air, perhaps we can get a few bit more science from it. So, and then, let us go, should we go liquid or solid booster? I reckon, let's go liquid. Because I think that could be quite an interesting, uh, so we're going to add a bit of liquid on here. I want to try, let's try and get to the top of the stratosphere. I think that'd be pretty good. 
Awesome. Right. Now, I'm going to put some fins on here. Because I want to keep it fairly aerodynamic stable. So let's go with three fins. And, oh, something I forgot to do is, literally, we're carrying all this weight, but this parachute is not going to take all that, surely. Hmm. I know. I got an idea. We'll try it. Let's, uh, we, we won't have all that fuel. Uh, let's, let's have this much fuel. And I was thinking what we could do is not burn all our fuel. So then when we come back down, we can do a short burst, like a suicide burn sort of thing, just to slow us down that last little bit before touching the ground. Will that work? Oh, I don't know. But this is where the fun comes in, where you just play around. I think we got everything. No, wait, I am forgetting an important one. This, because remember, one of our contracts was to uh, test out at the launch site. So we can go straight off the bat. That also reminds me, let's take out the monopropellant. This actually tells you if there's things like you can do, the weight restrictions of the runway, well, the launch pad, etc. Another thing I'm going to do with this is, you see how the force percentage is high? We don't want that to be high. And that is everything set up. So a rocket chair, Mark 2. All right, save. Hmm. I'm a bit nervous about doing this bit, but let's uh, let's give it a go. Right, so we've got to keep an eye on our fuel when we're right there. All right, so here we are on the runway. Very good, Bob, as long as you're ready. Let's do some Observe the Mystery Goo. See, because he gets a little bit more science from it, so we'll keep that data. Or Observe the Materials Bay, that's an important one to have. Look at that, seven and a half science. We were only getting seven and a half science in the middle of the air with the Mystery Goo, so that's important. We'll keep that data. Thank you very much, Bob. Look at him go! Did you see him doing his little dance? Oh, he was doing a little dance. Oh, you're so cute, Bob. Right, Bob. The other thing I want is a crew report from you. Oh, it's... well, never mind. If it gives us no science, we don't want it, Bob. But let's get you out here. Do you get any science from this? No. But what we can do now is he's going to collect that data. So he's going to remove it. He's going to restore the module to working conditions. And we'll make him come down here. He's very talented to do this whilst flying in the air. Good on you, Bob. You're a good man. Remove the science, restore the data, and let us get in the module. Alright. I don't think we're going to get to the mesosphere with this much fuel. We're going to bring up this tab here. I'm going to keep this up because, we, as I said, we want to keep some of the fuel left over because I, I think we're going to have too much weight, so we're going to have to slow ourselves at the last possible moment. But without hesitation, Bob doesn't have uh, stability control, so he has to rely. That's why I put fins on it, to try and keep us going straight. Okay, Bob. Oh, I'm actually quite nervous. So let's go... I don't think we need all the fuel, so let's go start with this. We've now ejected that, so you see how we completed those contracts there. We actually didn't go over that the last time around, so we'll do that in a second. But there we go, he's off. That is too fast. We don't want to go too fast. We only want to just be going upwards. There we go. As I said, uh, too much speed. Oh, no, Bob. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to do some uh, work here. I was hoping he would just go straight up, but Bob's a little bit of a drunken driver. There we go. So let's keep an eye on that fuel. And uh, we got to try and keep this uh, fairly stable. So I'm doing a lot of pressings on the... Uh, up that well, WASD keys, just to keep us uh, fairly stable. This worries me a little bit. I think it's probably because I didn't block off the fuel from all the tanks. So it's becoming a little unstable with the weight. So we're just going to keep going up here. As I said, we're probably going to try and... Um... Well, we're doing okay, I suppose. As I said, it's a lot of concentration when you look at it. All I'm looking at, I'm not looking at the crowd. I'm looking at the nav ball right now and keeping an eye on that fuel on our up here. So um, we're doing okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to probably cut it at about 25 units of fuel left. Uh, we're still going quite good speed-wise. So you're doing all right there. I don't think we're going to get to the top of the stratosphere. Uh, but let's see, and cut the fuel. We don't, as I said, 
but we're still going up fairly good. Uh, speed is starting to descend, so let's go and observe the mystery goo. 1.6 science, brilliant. Good job, Bob. Uh, can you do this? Oh, don't tilt the craft over, Bob. We need to keep you fairly straight, because obviously if I want to do the suicide burn at the last possible moment. And uh, we are now slowing down. Uh, we're, we're fairly close to the uh, top of the stratosphere. I think it's 18 um, kilometers up, but that's fairly good going. Good job there, um, Bob. That's it. Let's see. 17 and a half science from that. We can't complain about that. So let us now do this. Uh, I've got to be careful. I've got to keep an eye on that speed as we come down. Because uh, we don't want to be going too fast that the parachute can't deploy. Because the parachute is going to be fairly important to try and keep us upright. And then at the last minute we're going to burn some of that fuel just to slow us back down again. So don't look so nervous Bob. I got this okay. I got this. He's looking awfully peaky. Yeah, see, there we go. We're going a bit too fast. I'm going to keep our angle slightly off center because then it's going to cause us a bit more drag. Now, when we get into the troposphere here, the atmosphere is denser, so we should start slowing down a bit. And let's see if I c I'm going to actually bring this over a little bit more just to see if I can uh, get the parachute to safety deploy. We might actually just burn a little fuel off. There's a parachute. There we go. Now let's hope uh, the parachute will deploy in a minute, and uh, we can probably burn a little bit more fuel here. There we go. The parachute should be open. Uh, there we go, our speed's coming down, that's good. Oh, we're in the water. That, actually, we should survive that, but as I'll show you in a minute, what we could have probably added another fuel tank in just to go that little bit higher. Never mind. But we should be able to bring this whole rocket back with us. Ah, <sighs> see, <laughs> it does get a bit more bracket, but you think about this, this is only the early stages of this. It's when we go higher and up into the orbits and stuff like that, that's when it's going to be more scary. So we want to start uh, bleeding off some of our speed a little bit more. Oh, there we go, All right. There we go, look at that, that was a good landing. Oh my word, <laughs> we're just bobbing up and down. There we go, we're going to flip over. That is fine by me. Woo! Good job, Bob. But guess what we're going to do now, Bob? We are going to do some more experiments because we're in a different biome here. So let's see what the mystery goo say. Uh, Kerbin Shores. Um, I think we're in the water there, old boy. Uh, I think it's got to confuse where we are, but all right, fair enough. It's good landing by you, Bob, don't worry. Uh, so yeah, we'll keep that data. And obviously we can do a crew report. Brilliant. Thank you very much there, Bob. Now what we want Bob to do is we want him to EVA. We'll get him to reset this bay. So we'll take that, collect the data, restore the item. And then what we'll do is we'll get him to observe the mystery bay. And see, again, that's 10 science. That's good. We can uh, afford some of those other grep grades. So... Uh, let's see, and have we done an EVA report from you? Uh, it's over the shores. Now what we can do is we'll just get Bob to come off and see if he can do an EVA report. There we go. He's now done an EVA report because it deems that he's touched the ground, so that's good. So now if we get... Oh, what are you doing there? He... Look at him, he's trying to swim around. Right, grab the rail, Bob. Can you get back in for me, Bob? Right, B. Come on, get in, Bob. There we go, he's now in, so that's good. Now, we can recover the vessel. Brilliant, so there's our mission summary. Look at that, 47.3 science earned from that expedition. That's the list of science we've gathered. That's brilliant news. Now, parts. Now, this is the reason why I didn't want to lose it, you know, because you get money back for the parts, and with a lot of the crafts I'm going to try and build, I want to try and recover as much of the parts as possible, because... If you think about it, 4,974 is the credits we had back. We got some money for the science, so that is brilliant. And he gained some experience. But let's go over this. I didn't go over this the last time. So, world first milestone. So, we've done an EVA test, so that's more credit. We have launched our first vessel. Again, more credit. We have broken a speed record. 25 meters a second. Really? 
it does make you wonder what they've been doing. They just rushed. There's no buildings around. So I think Kerbins looked up at the sky and was like, I'm going to go there. Sod everything else. I'm just going to go. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, we've got some other records. We get some good records going on here. So that's brilliant. So let's have a look now. Launch our first vessel. So we got the money from that. That was the first time we did it. Now gather the science data. Look at that. Seven credits. Thousand credits there. The stack, the couple. That was easy money. So you think how much that rocket cost us and how much we got back for it. You see, we that's what we want to do. We want to try and maximize our return. There you go. 16,875. So before I forget, let's go and have a look at how much that rocket cost us. See, the rocket only cost us 5,665 credits. And we returned about almost 5k of it. So you can see we maximized our return by bringing all this back. So that is brilliant news. Right, so let's finish this up because I'm going to go in a second. And then uh, I'll start the next episode hopefully shortly. Let's have a look. General rocketry, we want that science. And we want the survivability because that's got other parachutes. That's going to help us slow down a bit. We got 37 more worth of science. That's got science, more science. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the science. Oh no, 45. I can't get that one. 45. These are all 45. Never mind. We're gonna have to do a bit more science to get up to that way. But let's have a look at some of these contracts and then I will say goodbye. Uh, in the between episodes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a load of these like little ones. Uh, because I think it's just going to be quick and easy. So I'll get some more money into our kitty and get some... Because you've seen what I'm doing here, basically. So I'm just taking these out. And what we're actually going to do... Let's upgrade this. It means I can take out seven contracts. Because there's a few contracts here I want to take out. But other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much, guys. Bye!